Okay, we'll go ahead and call the order yep. for the monthly meeting of the Brown Water and Wastewater Committee. Uh, first item on the agenda is the leak adjustments review. And actually, the first one, Rhea Anderson, was on there twice. She's first and last, so we strike that last entry. Everybody's got their paperwork for the leak adjustment. What? Yeah. There's one. I move we accept them as uh, presented. I'll second. We have a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? And the next order of business is the approval of. Motion we approve them as submitted. Second. We have a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Next item on the agenda is the finance reports. So nothing you need to be concerned about or looking at right now, just as a Make a motion to leave uh, table till next month. Second table. Table till next month. Second. All in favor? Uh, Any opposed? Yeah. Okay. Public comments. to discover a sprinkler meter charge of $2,267.34 plus tax on that bill. Upon receiving this bill, I spoke with Lisa and Angela at the, at the Water Department to find out why this bill was so outrageous. They informed me that the reason was that we had not been billed for our sprinkler meter since 2017. And also, uh, further note, I had called in and placed the sprinkler meter bill on hold in 2017, and I was told that I should have called back in to have that billing reinstated. Evidently, I did not do that. Um, if I made the error of not calling back in or not understanding that I needed to call back in to have that billing turned on, I'm very sorry and apologize for my mistake. At the same time, we do feel that the Water Department also has at least some responsibility and accountability for not billing us over the last four and a half years. Since 2017, both our home and our sprinkler meters <clears throat> have been read monthly and reported on our monthly statements. We're on an auto-pay system, so I don't pay that much attention to the details of my water bill. I generally just look at the amount due and make sure I got the amount covered in the bank and my year-over-year -year, uh, history of usage seemed to be about the same, so it never occurred to me that just because the statement showed the meter was being read and the usage was being reported on the statement that the Bryant Water Department was not actually charging us for the water that they are showing to be used. That's until I received this most recent statement, obviously. So we're not disputing the meter reading or that we used the water, but we are very frustrated and very disappointed in how this was handled. Our sprinkler meter was being read and reported by the Water Department each and every month for nearly four and a half years from the end of 2017 until April 2022. And then suddenly we're a bill for that entire time of usage all in one bill. 
So we're asking for a courtesy adjustment on this bill. We're requesting the bill be discounted in exchange for a lump sum payment. Thank you. One thing I don't recall seeing in all the email traffic <coughs> was if the meter was being read and they weren't being billed, what triggered them finally being billed? Um, we've been reviewing uh, accounts and this is so much we have spare time and theirs is one of those that was received and we have a, a code that says service rates in our system and uh, when a customer calls us and says they want to put their meter on hold for the winter months, that we put a date in there that they called and it suspends their account. Uh, it will still read their meter uh, but when they do not call us back, that service rate date doesn't get taken out so therefore it'll give them a read that doesn't bill them. So the customer's responsibility is to call us and ask to be put on hold and for us for them to ask to be sent on hold. Uh, however we do see a frequent uh, problem with plumbers going out, turn on when they go into their yearly inspections on the RPG. Uh, we see an issue with plumbers turning the meters on and the customer's not aware of it and then it may be six months down the road or however many this case, you know, I don't know if that was the case. And we do not take the date out so therefore they don't get billed for it. So we didn't receive a call to go out there and turn them no. on. So well, how did the here. water get turned back on? But when, when they go out, the, when they put the meters on hold, which this was put on hold in 2017, um, they put notes on the work orders that they lost in the meters. Okay. Uh, so if this plumber come out and unlock the meter and test that this is RPG, that is an issue too that we have that we see a lot of. Was there a note? Turn it on and the customer's not aware of it and they just weren't using their water assuming that we've been out there and unlocked. Was there a note that there was a lock on it when it was put on hold in 2017? Yes, there was an error on the work order, yes. They put a little bit of plastic locks, yeah. they don't put error locks on them. So if we suspend it in November and have zero uses from November to May, whatever, a little bit down the line, do they get a bill? But for um, zero usage? In his case, um, his sprinkler meter is on the same bill as his house meter. So he all, it's all on one statement. Um, but on the first statement, as you'll see, that it just says five inch meter, that means right. house meter. On the second statement, where we actually bill him, it says five inch meter, and then it says five inch sprinkler meter. And that shows that we're billing for sprinkler meter. So there's not two bills, one for the sprinkler meter yeah. and one for it's just that the the customer wants two separate bills, we will give them two separate bills. If they just want it all on one billing and be done with it, then that's what we do. So prior to 2017, did it show up as two meters? Uh, no, it was all on one statement. I mean one statement, but yes. it showed up as five-eighths meter, five-eighths meter sprinkler? sprinkler. Uh, yes, prior to 2017. So service was on the on the sprinkler meter at some point to shut off? At some point, yes. Uh -huh. <coughs> it's always paid, I mean, ever since we... Do you have a plumber test your RPZ every year? Marshall, you have to do it every year. Yeah. So this bill is basically continuation. Yes, from 2017 till but, current, yes. But technically, he had it turned off in 2017. Yes. Yeah, it was set on hold. Our office got a phone call, but we have a work order where it was set on hold. But was the, water, the water was actually used? That's yes. what I'm confused about. It doesn't go straight from this system to this system. No. Okay. So the water that was in the So, Mr. Skinner, did you ever call her in 2017 to ask her to, to turn the meter back on? I don't recall doing that. I, I don't recall knowing that I need to do that. Well, you turned and had it turned. You called and had I, it turned off. You know, the meter uh, it was never locked that I know of. I just turned it on and off in the street. They put the billing on, though. Evidently, the meter was still. 
someone would have had to call them and told them to put the billing on hold. They don't yeah. just do that yeah. automatically. Yeah. 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 Okay. So basically, you knew to call her to have it put on hold. Did you call her later to have her start restart it again? So the, this bill is basically for water used for basic five years that went through the meter. Okay. You say you turn it on the street. Is that at the meter? Yes. So you turn the meter off and on yourself. Yes. So that I just don't understand how even if he was turning over and off, we didn't read it for five years. No, so even if the we didn't bill it for five years. Right, even if the meter restores, if the account's on hold, he's not going to bill it. Yeah, the service that code that you go in there gives you cue to bill the customer. And when they call us, we take that date out. Therefore, it starts picking up again. <clears throat> but we can see that there's usage. Yes, you can go But it's on hold. hold. And it's on hold. I mean, yes. The system that reports to us, the system that we're going to are two different systems. Hmm. You are a friend group. So when they import the reads, when the reads import over, if that service rate date is not taken out of there, it's not going to bill that customer. I don't recall this don't ever happening. We don't look at all 9,000 statements. This well, First time I've ever heard this yeah. in 10 or 11 years. Yeah, yeah this well. Yeah, okay, so. I've been trying to fix it. Another question. Now that we finally billed him in the past five years, mm -hmm. the past five years, is that bill all based upon current rates? Or did you take it 2017 8 rates, 2018? No, I, I didn't. I just put the data in there and it billed it. Well, a sprinkler bill won't have a sewer. Yeah, oh. yeah that's right. So, so if our hands are tied. Yeah. So whenever somebody's water is shut off, you put the same kind of lock on the meter? Yes. Yeah. Well, they just have the sprinkler, what are they called again? Full plastic yeah. Okay. Oh, we do the same thing in electric company. I mean, you can yeah. clip it off, but if you clip it off, there's a penalty for it. Yeah. But anytime you, you mess with a meter, you turn it on or turn it off, there's a Don't we turn your meter on and off if we find it off? I don't think you can turn it on off meter. No. I always turn it off at the sprinkler meter. Sprinkler meter. You turn it off at the street, basically. Yeah. 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 So technically all we can we can do is adjust the amount that he pays. You just drag it out that way. But we well, uh, there ought to be well, that was my angle I was trying to take is instead of building five years of 2022 rates, go back and, I mean, it, it ought to at least be accurate. Well, that's true, too. I mean, we didn't pay, the, we weren't paying the current rates that we are back in 2017. <clears throat> well, I kind of see this as everybody's fault. Yeah, yeah the, the spring group and you were saying I would think really disturbing. I mean, yeah. Uh, I would, if we could, I would say we make an adjustment. I think the only adjustment that you can make is probably yeah. for the pro-rate for the rates that were for the year. So you got to start, there was no lease. Yeah. The current, the current rule says that unless he has a lease, then we can make an adjustment for those. There wasn't a lease for water to use. Uh, and then also there's, there's the matter of a, we have, we charge a service for disconnection. Yeah, yeah. 
but that's not on here. No. Well, I'd say yeah, I'd say we we, we don't, don't worry we about that. Us. Yeah, we don't even mess with that right now. Granted, but one of my point is is the adjustments that we did as, as active council was to be able to offer a service if there was a need and that's perishable. So it has not been a lot of work used. So yeah. our hands are tied. Your hands are tied other than the fact I think you bring up a very good case that the, you could prorate it based off of what we used in twenty seven. That's fair. And then also that you can you could you could extend the billing period for six months. Yeah. Make a motion. Well, is, is six months, is that? Six months is a maximum for the payment plan. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't do count. I don't pay over six months, but I'm willing to pay a lump sum. Yeah, I got to fix that. Basically, you can get a little adjustment for that. But that's but now, I mean, we can't say to, we can go to the council. We can't do the, I mean, okay. We can, but the council can't do anything either. Well, I know they, well, they, they got the power to do. This is beyond, you can't, this won't go to council. Yeah. Did you, were you going to say something about? For the rates that were in effect at that particular time. Yeah, that will lower. Well, that's so 2017. Would, uh, sort of would be the rates, wouldn't it? 27, but he's had usage yeah. every year. Yeah. 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 So he'll get charged the rate for every year. Well, then the best we can do is drop drop it back to 2017 rates and make the payments extended to six months. Well, so Angel will just have to recalculate it according yeah. to the rates yeah. per year. And Sales then tax has not changed in the past. Ten years. Can we make a motion that there won't be any penalties or fees added to that? That's a good motion so that we could not incur the fees of just connect and reconnect to. Okay. And to readjust this bill according to the rates per year. Our hands are kind of tied. That's probably as much as we could do, but. Or council. Same yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, that's my. I'm, I moved in that we uh, use the 2017 rates and give him the six months after you refigure it. You want to give 2017 rates for the whole bill? No, no, no. For the whole bill? No, I, I don't agree with that. You don't? I, I think the rates per year. Ought to be what she calculates it. The rates for 2017 on the 27 usage, 2018 rates for the 2018 usage, 2019, and so forth. The rates in effect during each year that that occurs. I understand what you're saying, okay. but I'm saying there's a little bit of fault here and there, and yeah, and I'm I'm taking the fault on our side to make oh, it 2017. Also, also right, right. So that's. I mean, that's the most. That's the best we can do. So I, I stick with can, my motion. Can we the stick with the 2017 rates? There's not an ordinance in there's not an ordinance that even addresses this, is there? Other than the fact that like I said, the only ordinance in regards to of, of leaks and associated with natural disasters and this doesn't apply. This water was used. It was used in twenty seventeen. Well, honestly, I mean, if we went, if we stared at that, that mm -hmm. what are we talk about? Probably not. Fifty, hundred bucks or something. I mean, it's maybe something along that line. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still for the 2017, except some fault in, in not billing it, mm -hmm. and yeah. have no penalties and things yeah. on there. Okay. Well, I think Bob, you made the motion to I'm adjust accordingly, not impose any fees or penalties. True. And, That's and, uh, six month payment. That's. Six, Yep, that's the most we can do, yeah. Sorry? Okay, and then, so Bob Tacko 
on to your uh, motion, if assuming the council approves. Or the legal, 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 legal approval. Legal yeah. right. Plus, it'd be easier for you to figure one at uh, one time instead of trying to do all that other. Yeah. Uh, so I'll add that to the motion. That's been added. So we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. <coughs> Okay, moving on. Old business, public works, beta test. So in front of you guys, we just all have this piece of that and the table. So this is Ted and I's first shot at some categories for evaluation for the four meters. We also met with them all separately to gave them this. It's like fill out all the information you know, like meter cost and portal cost, uh, and review it and see if there's anything you think we should add to adequately evaluate a meter system. So I've started to get those back. Um, we would appreciate the same input from you guys when you have a chance. Go ahead and look at it and see if we need to add anything. Do you anticipate anything that we need to add? I mean, everything we anticipate is just <laughs> down right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's your brainstorming right there. One, one thing you may want to consider is like items, you know, 37 through 45, those are where you guys are going to come in when you evaluate like the customer portal portion. And uh, so when you guys get your meter, that's the things that you guys will be looking at and checking and rating. Do we know when those meters are going to be put in place? We're hoping to start installing next week. I have a list for everybody. I'm really not going to tell anybody what particular meter they have. Um, we'll just get all the access to the uh, customer portals on our side. Of course, they'll have safety on there. If you've got a sprinkler meter like I did, I just turned on like it on each other. I, I, I ordered a couple extra ones, so, so we're going to do some irrigation meters also. But uh, yeah, and then I'll get everybody to <coughs> log into their customer portal and if you can figure it out from the customer portal side, but we ask that you don't share or compare with each other. How long do you anticipate it taking? So we're all up and running. And I think that'll be good and don't give us any instructions. Just see if we can mm -hmm. navigate the portal on our own and figure it out. Yeah, yeah seriously. Yeah. 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 Give us the website. Yeah. <laughs> give us the address. We'll do the rest. <laughs> Treat us like a test drive. It's like a test drive of a car. Get in and go as fast as you can. <laughs> <laughs> So just so I know, you want us, you want feedback from us yes, on 37 through 45. I, I think that would be really key the discussion okay. is that that would be the input of, I mean, that will help complete okay. the charge. Is there going to be some kind of uh, parametric as far as, yeah, I mean like a form you want us to fill out? Or? Well, that's what, that's some of the, what we're trying to define is once we get the information back from it, we're trying to say, hey, these are the, this is how you rate one to five or one to ten, because various things obviously will be way so pretty much what you're doing is showing us what you've come up with so far, and we're just seeing if we can add anything to it. Okay.
move uh, public works hydraulic gradient. So I was unfortunately I don't remember why I wasn't here last last time. I heard it was like the shortest in the year ever. So uh, because you that, weren't here, that's why. I <laughs> <laughs> so this this is a, this particular is a hydraulic plane gradient that you guys have in front of you, and this kind of represents our uh, our, our plane water provision within the city. We have two planes. We call it the North Plane and the South Plane. The North Plane is really just everything uh, from I-30 up. And there's a little bit of parts in the west of the city, too, that's all on the North Plane. And that's, that's at the 609 elevation. Uh, for reference, if you look at the upper right-hand corner, it has Benton's Plane and Salem Water Users Plane. You can see they're all higher than us. And then in the south plane, on the left side of the scale, is everything from the, the water tower at the high school all the way down to I, uh, 183 uh, that picks up junior high, the airport, and those things. And so we operate two different planes. They communicate between themselves to some degree, but uh, if, uh, there, there's some issues. Obviously, we're going to have some more work in the area with the parkway coming through. And with that commercial node around the airport really starting, is going to get bigger. We foresee that we'll need probably to rework our south plane. In fact, we'd like to do away with the south plane and it all be on the same hydraulic grade, which would be the 609. Uh, so what we'd like to do is start doing some preliminary engineering. It's probably going to require another water tower and some pretty good piping changes. Uh, but I think it matches in with that 20-year growth plan for our water system to start looking at this and, and being able to, because, you know, if you remember last last time I was here that we, we passed an emergency repair or actually upgrade of down there by <coughs> Hill Farm and, and Big Red, and that's because of the effects of the South Plain. It, uh, when you start having water issues with the junior high uh, and the elementary school and, and then the airport, all those that are on that south plane, we'd really like to get that grade in that Can I ask a dumb question? No, go ahead. <laughs> no. This says six, <laughs> it says 610. Is that 610 MSL? That is. That okay. is. And see, you know, most of the city's elevation is, you know, it, is anywhere from 370 to 416 mm -hmm. uh, is what our MSL is here. So that difference is the pressure that you're seeing. At so the is that... The 16 is that at the top of the tower? Yeah, that's what we call the overflow. Yeah, and uh, and so that's what we fill it up to, and then you know it, we may pull it down a quarter or something along that line. So it'll, it'll be below that uh -huh. to some degree. So 540 can actually drop down as a result of whatever the water level is within that tank that over there by the high school. So. Well, the the water tower we the new one. The I think it was. Five. I think it was. Like a dollar per gallon of what it costs. Of what it costs. What kind of cost is it now? Any yeah, idea? I have no earthly idea. That's why we'd like to go ahead and start. Uh, it's it's gone up. I would think it would have. Yeah. And then we have piping connections that a lot of that that we have to do. We also probably as part of that too is the the parkway. We bought extra right of way to continue water lines and utilities along that. So there's another connection that we will probably look at putting a, a pipe on. Madison Bridge that'll uh, basically feed that from, from the North Plain on down that way too. So. I don't know if we designed it for water though, did we? <laughs> so you had those things all the time. Right? My next question goes to all three of y'all. So if we have the issues we're having with the economy now, mm -hmm. and we don't start tomorrow, mm -hmm. and prices go, how are we going to recover all that? I mean, how, where are we going to get the money? Well, uh, you know, as, as the rates go up, I mean, that's an interesting conversation. And, the, and there's, there's bills are actually passed bills in the Arkansas State Senate that says that your water, this board, our utilities has to cover our operating costs. So our rates will reflect okay. whatever operating costs, yeah, that or design in. costs, or building costs that we have to do. Don't, don't you remember the bonds or? You've got yeah, to have 110%. Yeah, now as part of that, like you said, you know, there's you can issue bonds for part of that, I'm sure. You can also go out and look for grant money for that, too, which of mm -hmm. course we would do. Yeah, there's, there's we're always looking for somebody to pay for our projects if they can pull it mm -hmm. off. You know, 
there is ANRC monies as well as there's a full water project. So there's a number of ways we can get the money. And we really won't know what the cost is until you get the engineering done. But it could potentially double, correct? That's hard to say. It's too early. I mean, I mean, I mean at the rate we're going today. I, would, I wouldn't jump so far to say what the price tag is on this yet. I mean, I think we need to start looking at it in earnest because we know it's an issue. And, I mean, we'll do some preliminary engineering to kind of get that idea of how much it's going to cost. It's in your hands. Yeah. Uh, I might have been thinking if you said this, but have you, you said another tank. Have you thought of any location to get what we want it, for it? We've kicked around some ideas. Some of it, I mean, if, if you look at where the South Plain is and where the existing tank is by the high school, that would be an ideal place to put another tank. That's tall. Okay. And if, oh. Also, if you look at this, just to give you a matter of perspective, is the bottom of the Highway 5 tank, you see where it is, the big, the big donut tank? It's actually lower than what the tank is at, at the high school. So, I mean, we actually have an elevation grade that comes up over by the high school that's higher than what's over on Highway 5. So, you know, so would you add an additional tank or replace that one with a bigger one? We can't take it out of service, so we probably would have to add one. You couldn't just make it taller? You can't. Yeah, okay. that, that would be tricky. And then also there's a matter of how much... How much volume will we get? That's a 500,000 gallon tank. If this commercial area grows like we think it will, we would get a lot of more water demand. We may need more water availability, so we may be looking at a million gallon tank or maybe a two million gallon tank. So all those things have to be figured out. No matter what, except for a little slide here and there, it's not going to get any cheaper the longer we wait. Oh, yeah. Well, that area where, where by the school <coughs> is at one time was the highest area in. Yep. <coughs> Here in Texas, County. <laughs> church was the highest. The church, yeah. And, yeah, right across the street. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there was some available <coughs> property. We kind of looked at that too. Oh, there was some available property there. A lot of it is the, is the <coughs> service line that connects to it that ties into the. To the you know the, the main trunk line that comes off I thirty from the Fisher Station is getting it over there too because it's only being served by like a like twelve inch line now so the part of this cost will be associated with a larger a larger, larger main do, do we have a footprint to hold another tank where that one is probably not we we'll probably want to look at either across the street like I said those kind of things I hate kind of I mean we've kind of speculated but really we need to look at more. Yeah, definitely what the preliminary engineering is for. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd say proceed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We will we'll probably put out a request for quotation for, you know, for, we have an RFQ for engineers on this that we already can do and we'll probably pick two or three of those and get quotes on them. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, projects update. <coughs> uh, they are finishing up. They have one more pull to do up by still not about 370 feet. Uh, and then they'll be in the stage of in about a, about a 1900 foot open and cut. Uh, it will expand off the thousand feet they did last year and three quarters of a mile that's out to this. And that will finish that line. So that's going to be an expensive one, but we're going to do it in house. It'll be over a hundred thousand dollars a year. But it's in house. Um, and it's a We've also engaged with RJN, who does our sewer system evaluation, about a program that they don't offer that we pay for, but they, whatever amount you want of rain gauges, which we do pick better, um, they come over by your, your list station, and they monitor them, of course, there's, a, there's an amount of water or storm to your storm event, and uh, it's used to look at how your pump stations are after an amount of rain, and there's another way to track the island. Okay, uh, 
Wrestling Regional. So we had our meeting uh, last week with the Saline Regional, our monthly meeting. Uh, we're making progress. We're, we're looking at buying more property for, uh, for at, near the intake for whatever facility that we need to build as well as pipeline. Uh, so we're moving forward with, I think, acquiring another 10 acres of land associated with it. Uh, the application is still at ANRC for review of the water plan as well as the water draw plan. Uh, they, we kind of feel like, given the their, our, our engineer that's working with them, that they're somewhat stalling a little bit as far as, as, as looking at the plan and, and coming up with the calculations on, on how much water we're drawing out of the uh, the uh, uh, Washita River at the uh, Middle Dam, as well as the overall uh, approval of the plan. Uh, it, it is a high visible project, so we think that that's a lot of it that has to do with it. Everybody wants to cross their T's and dot their I's on it, but at the same time, the, the, we're, we're going through our channels to apply pressure to make sure that this thing stays on track. Um, so there's, you know, uh, we've been in contact with all the, the judges and, and representatives and, and staying in, in close contact with that. So we kind of, it, it may take three months, it may take six months before we find out that our application is approved. Uh, but I think it's one of those things where everybody recognizes it's really good for the area. We do have some, some blowback from other competitive <laughs> water providers. Uh, but, uh, I mean, right now it's just here's that so. How about funding? More any more? We we have, as, as you guys know, we we've been accepted to have ten million dollars from from the county from their ARP money for this project. Ten million. Ten million. Okay. And we're applying for essentially one hundred forty million through various loan agencies and uh, some bonds and stuff to you know finance the whole pro project as a whole. Uh, so we've been in steady contact with the county as far as using those funds. Uh, they're also very interested on whether, you know, we get to the application process with ANRC. Uh, we would like to use the, the money, the ARP money from the county for more right-of-way acquisition so that we can get those. Those are the big things that we need to be working on. Is, is, and then, of course, is deciding where the plant's going to go and deciding the route to the water line. So. Any other questions on that? Tyler. Um, next week, Tyler and Utility Building and and uh, Creek, they have their perform testing, and that's basically all the work they've done in the room. So the back has to go next week to um, test it and make sure it performs correctly. And find out they take up the full flow life of it. As far as the ADM side, this would be the work management side. So really, it's the us public works guys, the engineering group. June 21st, 27th, 23rd, I believe they will be. Comments on that? Any other business to lead it to? I got, I got one question. How are we on all of our supplies and everything? So far, we haven't really done a good job of the supply chain. Um, it's probably looking. Are we ahead of it right now? Yeah, very much so. Uh, I think I said in the past, the current group of vendors we use, they're really good about telling us. Fusion pipe for the pipe bursting machine. Last year I bought 12,000 feet of it. So we're good for we're good for them. We'll be good for this year and probably a good portion of next year, if not all of it. So we'd like to say that was a lot of foresight on his part to do that. <laughs> I realize. Yeah, yeah. So, so <coughs> good job. This is an example. 12 inch uh, gravity sewer line right now. It's about $49.87. So it's close. <laughs> what it used to be. What's that? Oh, what it used to be.
On the uh, meter issue that we talked about earlier, the sprinkler meter, you know, we came across that. Mm -hmm. Not the only one. But they say, did we run an, an audit for that same type of error and yeah, so catch the rest of They're working through it right now. I'm okay. not, I can't speak for 2017. I have no idea. Actually, I can't speak for 2018, 2019, so I just can't call the words correctly. But they, they've been working on audit. We've, there's been some work done from other systems, too, that we're finding. So okay. we're, we're, we're not knocking them down. I don't think it's as extreme as anybody thinks, but they're out there. So Yeah. I'm just saying, you find one thing, you're like, all right, let's see how many more there are. Well, that's what that's what happens. We found one, and we just started plugging away at it. We haven't found this one. So yeah. it's, it's unfortunate. We adjourn. We have a second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll think about starting that one. <laughs>